just in case. So when you learn about the, uh, when you start with 1045, as I said, you, are, you learn about the, the atom subatomic particles. You learn how each atom compared to another element in the periodic table, they, they behave. So if you have the element in the left side of periodic table, they are acting as metal. They have more metallic properties. On the right side, they are non-metal. You have group eight, that they are noble gases. They are the most um, stable. Every element want to be like the noble gases. And they want to achieve the electron configuration of noble gases. What does it mean? They want to have on the last energy level, they have to have they want to have the same number of e electrons as one of the noble gases so they lose electron they gain electron they share electron so you learned about the atom and how they behave and some properties of the element which is the smallest unit of the uh, smallest unit of that is the atom so you learn about the element which is simplest way a uh, simple substance uh, is made of one type of atom and then you learn about compounds when you put two or three elements together and you make a compound. So when you learn about compound, what else did you learn about compound? Just not putting the elements together. You learn about the compound, you learn how to name compounds. Uh, if it's ionic compound, if it's covalent compound, molecular compound, or is ionic compound. Is it, if it's ionic compound, is it binary? Is it higher order? You have polyatomic ion. Um, is it two polyatomic ion or just the metal with polyatomic ion or ammonium ion with the uh, with the non-metal? So you get you learn about ionic compounds, you learn about molecular compounds, you learn how to name these compounds. So because if you don't know the name, just like your friend, as soon as you try to communicate, probably the first question uh, or one of the first questions, what is your friend's name or the person that you want to communicate, be friend with them, what's their name? So you learn about naming compounds. So that's what happened in general chemistry one uh, also. Then you put the compounds, two compounds together. And when you put two compounds together, you get new compounds. That is called chemical reactions. So you learned about, I hope that you all know by heart what chemical reaction is. What's the difference between a physical change and chemical change? So that you should bring that information into uh, general chemistry too. So when you learn about chemical reactions, just like you learn about compounds, you need to know what the, the property is. Is it polar or is it nonpolar? Um, based on the loose structure, how many pair of unshared electrons you have for the central atom and all that for the compound. You put the two compounds together, you study chemical reactions. When is the chemical reactions? You are going to balance the equation. Make sure you know how to balance chemical equation. Make sure uh, you do quantitative analysis using chemical reactions. Because when you have a balanced equation, that is the recipe for your reaction. So when you have a recipe for reaction, you, you should be able to do quantitative analysis. When you read the chemical reactions, like if you have one mole of carbon monoxide plus one half mole of oxygen gas, O2, that gives carbon dioxide. So you know what the reactants are, what's the product, and what is the mole ratio, which is the coefficient for each of the reactants and products. That's like those are the ratio. From the ratio of reactant to product, you can predict how much of the product you are going to make. So every one CO, if it makes one CO2, now if you have two moles of CO, you will get two moles of CO2. That also was covered in general chemistry one. So you learn about quantitative analysis in general chemistry one. You learn about IMF, intermolecular forces in general chemistry one. Basically, based on your molecule, your compound, if it's a polar, is going to have dipole-dipole interaction, or what is the electrostatic attraction between the molecules of your compound? Um, so that's called the uh, like intermolecular forces or the forces that hold the molecules together. The more polar your compound is, the stronger, because it's electrostatic is the attraction between opposite charges. When you are done with those, you start with general chemistry too. 
what you're going to, to study in general chemistry too is if you have a chemical reaction, is this reaction is going to be exothermic or endothermic? You learn definition in general chemistry one, but in general chemistry two, you should be able to quantitatively determine, find out how much of the heat is going to be absorbed, how much heat is going to be released. When bonds form, energy is released, bond breaks, energy is absorbed, um, or you find the delta H value. If the delta H value or for formation is given for each of the compounds, then you can say this reaction, how much heat is going to give. You want to, you are going to learn about thermodynamic of the reaction. And what does thermodynamic involve? Thermodynamic is going to say how much heat is going to be released or absorbed. Is the reaction spontaneous or non spontaneous? At room temperature, if it's non spontaneous, you have to add heat for endothermic reaction to become spontaneous or remove heat for exothermic reaction uh, to be to be a spontaneous at room temperature. Next topic for general chemistry two is kinetic. How fast a chemical reaction is going to uh, take place? And if you change the concentration of reactant, how is going to affect the rate of the reaction? So you see, if you learn like as the link of a chain, you kind of build up your skills. You look from like a better picture or more outside of the box to chemistry is not that boring because you have a purpose of learning now. So you start with the atom. You put the atoms together. You make a molecule. You learn about molecules. You put the molecules together. And then you have chemical reactions. You learn about chemical reactions, quantitative analysis, balancing chemical equation. Then when you have a balanced equation, then you start in general in chemistry too with the heat involved in the reaction, the speed of the reaction, because those are the ones that chemical engineers are very, very interested on. In. And in industry or real world, that's basically what makes money for, for people. Uh, how much heat you can, how well this combustion is taking place, or how fast is this reaction? If the reaction is not fast, what should you do? Should you use catalyst? What should you do to make the reaction faster? Because the faster production is going to bring faster money. So you learn about equilibrium. Some reactions, they don't go like all the way, all the reactant, it doesn't consume them to get to the product. At one point, the reaction, the reverse reaction is going to kick in. Equilibrium happens for reversible reaction. That means not everything goes to the product. To, you learn about that. You learn about the Schottler's principle, and you are going to read the units to see what else you are going to uh, to learn. So we learn about the thermodynamic, kinetic, equilibrium, electrochemistry, and then we learn about some organic chemistry and uh, just the introduction to organic chemistry. So that, those are the topics you learn in general chemistry too. So you have. Again, in the syllabus, you have access to purchase the, uh, you have the link to purchase the uh, Newton access code, and then you have the uh, link for the book. And you need a laptop. You must have a desk reliable internet. You also need a camera uh, for the proctored exams. Attendance, you must submit one. You must submit a uh, assignment or graded assignment or quiz. Just logging in does account for attendance. So we have to verify your attendance soon. So make sure you do something uh, online that is for grade, uh, even if it's just the introduction. So you do need computer knowledge is going to help you. The class activities, discussions, we only have two discussions. You have the tests and quizzes, you have a lot of them, and you have the quizzes are open book, open resources, um, you, uh, 20 points each, and you get two attempts for them, and the highest grade will count. The uh, exams, you have proctored exam, and you have, you have two exams that are not proctored, three exams that are proctored, so you have five exams. 
you want to when it comes to honor lock you have to test make sure you install it and is everything working for the honor lock there is an honor lock system check as an assignment you have to do that also let me look at the see that there is a chat coming in let's see are exams cumulative no exams are not cumulative you have your um, if you look at the syllabus it tells you for example exam one is based on unit one and two uh, and then exam two is just like that yes um, the good thing about syllabus is a little detailed so there's not a specific date we have to take the quizzes yes there are no no quizzes they have a specific date if you look at the if you look at the syllabus the syllabus it gives you better idea what everything is when everything is due like for unit one um sorry the course schedule let me let me continue on the syllabus that will answer your questions so when you look at the look at the syllabus here uh it's because it's a six weeks i have to put unit one and two in one week so i i highlighted red here that unit two has same due dates as unit one so for unit one everything is due july 5th same thing, unit two, everything is due July 5th. So by July 5th, you should be doing all the assignments. And these are the assignments. And you also will get announcement what is due again. Um, but you have to, the assignment, these are the lessons. The energy basics, calorimetry, you have to finish all that. You have to take quiz one before July 5th. And you have to take quiz two before July 5th. and then. On uh, July 12th, you have your quiz three and the exam one, which is based on the unit one and two, it's due on July 12th also. I hope that I answered some of the questions by looking at this, the course schedule, how the due dates, and you will see them pop up in the calendar also. Like your calendar is going to show that you have your quiz uh, due or the announcement will say, because it's in the Newton. So Newton calendar, it's on its own, but when you go on Newton, it tells you that if the assignment is available or not, that quiz is available or not. And if there's any error, you just just say a, a gentle reminder. I'm I'm okay with that, no problem. Please, if there's something a student, I have always have good students, and I'm so happy that every class I have few students that they are ahead of the class. They get there. And they say this link doesn't work can you change it then i change that link and then it works or i fix the link because not everything is in my hand if it was just a whiteboard and with the marker i still could make you know error here and there with the significant figures or something because of people you know everyone human can make mistake uh, but i have more control over uh, myself like how to present it to you but when it comes to technology, if there is just one dot here and there, the link cannot work. And if it doesn't work, all it takes to be just, you know, ask me and I will fix it. So you see how it works as the course schedule. I hope that the course schedule is clear. Everything needs to be done before July, uh, before August 7th. So. Even your last exam is based on eight and nine. So let me go back to chat area. I want to make sure that if there is any question, uh, a specific date. Okay, I see. So everything from that unit is due. Yes, everything in that unit. So it opens about in advance, two weeks in advance, um, but is due that day. So you can do early, but you cannot submit late. So everything is do that thing. Uh, which exams are proctored? Um, if, if you want me to go back to syllabus, I can tell you exam one is not proctored, but, and exam five, I think two, three, and four, but is in the syllabus also. It says in the syllabus which ones are proctored. Two, three, and four. Because I made the changes this morning and I remember. Okay, any other questions for me? Any questions, any concerns, anything that you want me to clarify, you are going to practice just like 
you have you learned like riding a bike uh, and now you know it it your eyes closed you can ride a bike or swimming using newton is the same and then learning about um, chemistry uh, probably is not going to be same as same as uh, riding a bike because you might forget in the future but there are a lot of learning uh, lessons life lessons that you learn by taking uh, classes that they require you to have like uh, critical thinking and all that uh, that is going to help you to succeed in the future for other aspects of your 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 life um, at one point you might be just the chemical engineers that you have to deal with thermodynamic and kinetic every day and uh, another point like you might go to uh, another profession uh, you go to law school you may not need to know how much heat is released from single reaction or how fast the reaction takes place uh, but it helps you build up that critical thinking that as a lawyer you can also benefit from that and if you do well now you would do good for every step of your your life uh, hard work it pays off uh, I'm not here to tour you or make your life miserable. I'm here to guide you to learn better, to learn how to learn better. And uh, you have responsibility to perform well by keeping up, up with the schedule and, uh, and uh, studying and asking questions. Uh, the time limits, the time, it's very generous. So I put like very uh, open time for the, for the, for the quizzes. But the exams, they have limits because exams are going to be especially that they have. So for quizzes, you have more time. I think the time limit, I put uh, 90 minutes for 10 questions. So it's not, it, you have more than enough time. You should never have, you know, lack of time to finish a quiz unless you forget about it. Something comes up in between. Um, any other questions? I think with the introduction, we should be fine. Do you prefer emails? Through? Definitely. Thank you so much. Emails only D2L because I teach three 1046 lectures this semester. So if you just, if you tell me even that is specific, which I don't get that often on my uh, Broward email, uh, that I'm actually a 1046 student, even if I get that, I need to know which reference number. Uh, so D2L email, please. Only D2L email. Thank you. And I check D2L email as often as I check my BC email, so one doesn't go faster. Really, for me, I check both of them. Very good question. Uh, I should have mentioned that. Okay. Any questions, any concerns? If you don't have questions and or concerns, I'm going to make this introduction course class short so you have time to purchase your uh, access code and read the syllabus read the syllabus and read the syllabus carefully if there is any point that is not clear in the syllabus make sure you ask but the syllabus has everything you need to know um, to start the course and then the newton is like you have to learn how to learn about it before you you actually start doing the, the assignments. Go through the introduction part. Oh, the uh, attendance is uh, easy for the for Blackboard. It records the attendance already. So I'm going to uh, for the attendance verification. I check your either assignment or assessment something has to be submitted before the attendance verification is due so you've been active uh, logged in not just log in um, you have sent some email or something no the review is only for the exam so the review is review is not the assignment review even like online course doesn't show the review list so review is not the assignment. Review is for you to, when you before the another good question. Review list is not 
assignment. Review list is for your exam. Only um, if for exam one, you have a review list, so it's going to help you to, it's going to cover very similar questions as you have in your exam. So it doesn't, if you ask me, can you have a review for the test, like for face to face, face class, this one, it makes it easy. It builds a review and is individualized for students based on their weaknesses and their strength. Like if you perform very well on all assignments, your review look different than someone else's review. Um, that's the, the beauty of it. So. So it's categorized by the quiz. So for the test one, you would review uh, quizzes one to seven. Um, I'm going to relabel them for you. I will re relabel it. If if it's not clear that what should you review for the exam one, I'm I can uh, by the time you are done with unit one and two, you look at the topic, you recognize it. Yes, one to three. Okay, that's better. Multiple choice. Multiple choice, but you have, make sure you write down the questions. You, uh, you can't do, you cannot answer a question without writing in, in chemistry. So even a multiple choice, you need to write down the problem, solve the problem, and then answer the question. Take notes when you are studying, because you may not have access to uh, Newton when, when you are taking your PCAT, your MCAT, your other CATs, but you, have, you always have access to your notes. So make sure you have a notebook. You start taking notes from the top for each topic that you can review. That would be the best way to retain the knowledge and also record uh, for later. Okay, I'm going to let you go ahead and explore the course. And I will be working also on the course because I want to make it more organized. So you see everything that goes to unit one, what are the, the, the assignments that goes to unit one and and so on. We have 10 units. Um, you will see some changes also. And I also upload the PowerPoints and the worksheets today. I said 12. I have to take it back like within two hours after I finish the, the class. Okay. Any other questions? It looks like we don't have other questions, so I'm going to stop the recording. And uh, it was very nice meeting you. Uh,